Today we're going to learn how to make mocha pot coffee. Ah yes, the mocha pot. So simple, so easy. All you have to do is boil some water, you grind some beans, you put your boiling water in the bottom, you put your beans in the top, level it off, set it to high, wait for a while, eventually some coffee's going to come out, and then you got coffee, and then you drink it. And it sucks. Why? Today we find out. The mocha pot, which was named for the Yemeni city of Mocha, was invented by an Italian engineer by the name of Alfonso Bialetti. He saw the way that the primitive washing machines worked at the time by boiling up water and pushing soap into a tube, and he was inspired. This with the fact that 1930s fascist Italy saw aluminum as the national patriotic metal, and Bialetti set out to create a design marrying the two. So, how do we do it the right way? There are about five ways that you can overbrew mocha pot and give it that nasty, bitter taste. I'll be pointing out these five mistakes along the way. What is our first step? We need to set our water boiling. And then we already come upon the first mistake you can make in mocha coffee is grinding your coffee too fine, like espresso. It should be a little bit more coarse than that. Our next step is to fill up the lower chamber up to the fill valve with boiling water. Drop your filter basket in the bottom and fill it in with coffee, but don't pack it down. You want the grounds to be porous, and you want the water to be able to penetrate easily. Screw the top on, make sure it's tight enough that there's no leakage. You're probably going to have to hold the bottom with an oven mitt. And that brings me to mistake number three, which is turning up the heat too high. You only want to turn it to medium. Now how it works is very similar to a siphon brew system. You're boiling some water so that the vapor pressure forces the water down and up the chamber, taking advantage of Pascal's principle. That brings us to our next step and the most common mistake made. Leaving it on the burner past the appropriate time results in classic overbrewing and a bitter taste that you won't like. When your coffee starts getting pale and bubbly, you should remove the mocha pot immediately and apply either cold water or a wet cloth to stop the brewing process. Now you are ready to enjoy good mocha coffee that doesn't have that nasty bitter flavor that Americans associate with it. Lastly, make sure to clean your mocha pot out. There are contentious debates over whether or not soap should be used in the cleaning of your mocha pot. However, it is a common myth that mocha pots should never be cleaned. Like all brewing methods, mocha pots both accumulate coffee oils, which can lead to a bitter flavor, and accumulate mineral deposits. So thanks for watching everybody, and until next time, remember to stay coffee snobby.